Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Okay, we're on. Woohoo! Pen in the nose. Sorry, I was just having What's up, Ben? Ben Metcalf? Metcalf. See what I want to do? Metcalf. I want to. I want to. I want to. Hold, hold up, Why is it, right, that, that, that when they, make, they give you these things, they're always far too long, right? And then, particularly with women, you know, then start to like yourself. I start looking down, and it looks like I'm trying to look down the front of you. And of course, I'm not. That would be pervy. Yeah, that would be disgusting. So, what I need to do, exactly. It's conference badges. It wouldn't be British to be pervy. <laughs> so, I'm going to just do this up. This is a conference hack. Is, is you, you tie a knot at the end of your. Here you go, match. folks. Conference hack. And if you're not cat handed like I am, it'll be a lot more like that. Isn't that better? Yeah. The only problem is that now I haven't got the safety thing of if someone tries to grab my badge, it, it comes apart. So if I'm walking back to my hotel in a seedy part of Seattle and someone tries to strangle me, you'll die. But then I shouldn't be walking around with my conference badge like this out in the open air. Because that that is not a conference hacker right there. That's right. So it's kind that's of that's a like, noob conference yeah. noob. So it's 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 evolution. <laughs> All right. So, a couple of questions. All right. Why are you here? Why am I here? Why I'm the heck? Here because I went to last year's Nimbex and it was so off the hook. Off the hook. That I tried, I wanted to come back and I didn't even know who was speaking, who was going to be here. <laughs> I said to Mr. Christopher Perillo, here is my $550. Take it from me, sir. Take I would it. like to come. Take it. I am yours. Also, the fact that this year I now live in San Francisco and last year I was living in London meant that it was a lot less of a, di of a distance to totally. come. Totally. So, totally. Hey. Oh, that's so funny. There's a picture. There's a Chris. Chris Swag in the back. All right. Let's Do you think Chris? He's is haunting us. Ever so slightly, a bit of an egomaniac, yeah. having his picture oh, everywhere. I don't so see how he can't. He could avoid that. The funniest thing was, I've always seen this, <laughs> this picture of Chris before I met him, and I met him, and I was like, "Well, you're obviously not Chris Perillo because you don't look anything like that picture." Right. Right. <laughs> why is it off the hook for you? What's up with Numbex? Why? Like why is it your the favorite? There was a lot more discussion here, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Actually, so far, it hasn't occurred as much as it did last year. The speakers would give their spiel, and then they would open it up to the floor. Because right. at the end of the day, most of the people here, if not everyone really, has probably got an informed opinion on most of these things. And as much as the speaker can facilitate the conversation, I'm just interested in what the rest of the audience has got to say, uh, as well as the speaker. The other reason why I think it's very good is people attend as individuals. You know, I'm here with my blog, not here with the company, the company. I might recognize, uh, uh, re uh, represent. Right. It's much more individual orientated, which I like. Totally. And finally, I think it's about, because it's a very small conference. Um, it's a lot more, a lot better ways of having individual discussions with people. If you go to ETEC and it's one and a half thousand people, not to say ETEC is a bad conference, but it's a different conference. But one and a half thousand people, I can't meet all one thousand, one and a half thousand people. Let alone remember their blogs or their names or. But right. here, I can do that. Totally, yeah. totally. What what kind of um, what's the biggest, the biggest technology revolution, evol evolution, innovation of two thousand seven so far? Oh. Oh. I think, the, I, I think the Ustream stuff, which is making people have video go live from anywhere, particularly with obviously eVideo and, and particularly in places like San Francisco, Wi Fi, which means you can just plunk a laptop and a camera down and just stream, I think is great. I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, it's all crap. But then I also remember when blogs came out, everyone said it was all crap. When what came out? Blogs. Blogs. And they were like, totally. Just a bunch of and actually, oh, yeah. people doing great political blogs. In fact, I remember when the internet came out and everyone was like, well, this is all a load of crap. Yeah. It's like the very first things when new technologies come out that, that are useful is porn and crap. Yep. And of course, live video really has already been taken over by pornographers for some time. Of course. And now you're seeing the, the evolution of where, yeah, a load of it's a load of, a load of crap. But soon it'll get better. Totally. I, I tend to agree with you. I tend so, to agree with you on that. And also, it's an enabler, and at the end of the day, we should let everyone have access to that, and what they do with it is up to them. If they use it for crap, then that's their right. It's just something I don't wish. And we can choose to what we what we look at and what we. That's believe. just what happens. You can't control the public. Absolutely, but you I think it's good, and I think it's um. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, totally. So what what are you what are you anticipating for the next year? 
for the for the next rest of 2007 and then 2008? Um, I'm any prediction? Yeah, I'm anticipating hamster power. Hamster power? Yeah, hamster power. Hamster power. Yeah, I think people are going to start getting. I'll be talking to these <laughs> Packard guys here about how they're going to get into laptops. But people are going to start having hamster wheels inside their computers. Okay. And as they lower the voltage of a lot of the processors and the components, <laughs> they'll be able to match the amount of voltage to be created by a small rodent inside right. a wheel inside the computer. Now, if you scale this up, 365 Main, which was a big data center in San Francisco, went down a couple of weeks ago. I actually live across the road from it. It was quite funny. Uh, my power went down as well. Um, they're going to build huge hamster wheels, but actually for real humans and there's a big homeless population in San Shut Francisco. Shut up. They're going to bring those people into the data center and they'll slowly walk on these things and it will actually power the data center. So we've got it at the data center level, the desktop level. We just need to work out how we're going to do it with laptops. And I was talking to the head of the laptop design last night and he's saying that they might even look at fleas as, as, as small fleas walking on small little wheels to power the next laptop which would be fantastic that would be amazing yeah so we'll have to see where it goes all right thank you